Write-out and path following is a queue type which allows you to have an image follow a specified path. This can be useful to create animations for your graphic shows, help with tracing for mapping shows, or even create custom position animation for your beam shows. To create a new write-out, right-click on an empty cell in the workspace and click Write-out and Path Following. Like all queue types, on the top left you have an option to create a new, open, and save your queue type, as well as its properties, the grid, and quick capture. Up to the right we have the Show It Now for laser output, projection zone selection, and blackout. On the left area you can see the preview of your queue. To the right is all of your parameters. First you open or create your image and your path. The image is the shape that will follow along the path, and the path is the frame that the shape will follow. The default here shows how that looks. You can open a frame here for shape and here for path. Plus you can draw your path by clicking edit if you need to make a new path quickly. Under parameters, you can choose which type of following your shape will do. Continuous path will follow the path frame entirely, including blanking jumps, and interpolate between all frames. Intermittent at blank path means the image will only follow visible points and blank between blank paths. Path following will just have the shape follow the path on its own. Right at will have the shape follow the path while also drawing out the path. Right at with fading trace will have the shape follow the path showing the path drawing out as well as fading away. Path following with visible path shows the shape following the path while leaving the path visible. The three under intermittent at blank path act the same as the ones above, they just jump for blank lines in your path instead of interpolate. You can set the duration here, as well as give it an acceleration curve to change how the animation accelerates and or decelerates. You can even make a custom waveform. Trace visible and trace fading are the number of points in your fading path frame as it animates. Trim unused points will lower the overall point count in your animation and remove any dark points. Smooth motion will interpolate between points in your path. Deselecting this will make the image fall point to point, which could make it stutter more. Don't move, just stops the animation. Under Z rotation, you can have the image shape change direction based on either the vector direction of the path frame or by overall access and distance change by clicking by normal. Under color action, you can select lightness to correct your image brightness to match your path brightness or recolor to color your image based on the path color. Lastly, you have image scaling, which allows you to resize the image part of your write out slash path. Thanks for watching our Quickens video on the write out slash path queue type. If you still have questions, feel free to contact support by emailing support at penguin.com.